Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another offline session for uh, Obsessed Factory. Uh, I am here uh, today because I have some plans to do. Uh, I have some big plans. We've got power going, right? Uh, I actually did a, a couple things offline uh, as well, and I can give that to real quick here for you. Uh, right now, we're just under, under our current factory over by our hub. Uh, but if I take you over to it, right hold on let me just uh got my way and uh you can ignore what's on the right side of the screen uh in terms of uh what i'm planning uh we'll get to that in a bit so if we take uh take this new path right let me take this and it runs alongside girth bridge right uh we take this past our coal station actually see a little thing up here uh there must have been something that i was uh looking at oh yeah there was some sulfur up there forgot about that some impure sulfur but there was some sulfur nonetheless uh i was just trying to gather where where i want sulfur from uh mostly but if we uh if we run all the way back here right we uh we get to our little coal plant our big effing coal plant right and uh so if I take care of this one yet, I have, I have, and then we hook the right, yeah, and then we just go through on the left here, um, some foliage I clearly need to get out of the way, but, uh, we come over here past the waterfall, past the loud ass waterfall, right, we get into this nice big open sky, uh, but down here, you can kind of see it from here. But right here is actually, uh, that right there is actually my uh, Noblisk plant. Uh, and I think combined a little bit further on, down there in the distance, you can see the green lights as the fog. Uh, that is actually making uh, portable miners for me. I, I have the alternate recipe for it and I decided to use it. Um, so I got portable miners and we got uh, noblisks being made. Uh, and then that second container is also black gunpowder if I need it. Uh, I won't go the full way, uh, full way down there, but essentially we just dragged from the sulfur node that's right here, right all the way over there. And uh, there was some coal and iron down that way too, uh, which is how I made the, the portable miners. Uh, now, in terms of what's happening on the east side of the map, of the factory, there's some zoop tubes everywhere for this. Um, remember that Caterium node that I said I for like the longest time that I was gonna finally unlock and, and uh, Go ahead and uh, use. Uh, well, I did. I locked it. I used it. Uh, not just with those little portable miners. I, I fully have it available and uh, and automated now. So uh, there is that. It's fantastic. It's great. Uh, I'm actually making AI limiters now over by it. Actually, I did find some nearby copper, which is actually uh, as a as a nice in between on the the dunes where I normally, um, or sometimes I like to play at, and uh, it's it's an area that I'm actually very familiar with myself um, because there's uh, there's oil down there, and when I play in the dunes, that's the nearest oil, right? So it's very easy to very easy to remember that area in particular. Actually, I need the... Yeah, no, this is it. This is it. So we'll take you there. Okay. We'll run up here. We'll, we'll uh, hit the platforms. Say hi to Fred. Hi, Fred. Hey, buddy. Try to be nicer to Fred. Let's see the birds. Um, so we got our we got our Caterium running, right? 120... Or, uh, no, 100... What? Uh, 
What? Why are you... Alright, well, I don't have anything on me. Uh, for, for a very good reason. Um, but either way. It's fine. <laughs> it's... It's, it's fine. Uh, we're moving at 120 per minute. Some, uh, there's some lime still right there. Um, you can already see it. The platform for the, for the copper, uh, node. And then this lovely little platform right here. Probably not use any, any jetpack while I can. Um, is making our AI limiters, which, uh, this entire time that I've been playing this morning. Yeah, we got it. We got several hundred. Uh, so we are golden on that and we're making this at an exact rate of 200 Katerium wire quick wire uh, Per minute and 50 sheets the sheets are piling <gasps> piling up a little bit faster, but uh, Oh well, it's fine. I mean I only need 50 per minute and I'm making 50 per minute. I believe Yeah, I got five things that are 10 per minute each so yeah, we're good Now uh, if we head back here, and you're probably noticing on the compass, there's been, like, this just cluster of nodes, um, just up there. Uh, and that's because, right, once we get over there, I'll kind of explain it a little bit better. Um, but that's because I'm going to start exploring in the trains a bit, right? And, uh, and that cluster of nodes, as it starts separating a little bit, uh, tiny, tiny by tiny there, um, and, and... and it, for those of you who have been noticing the uh, the shopping list uh, at the back here uh, on the right side, uh, that is indeed all the materials that I need to make this happen. Um, I plan on doing some Mac Daddy trains. I'm 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 going back to my old roots uh, in terms of this because I've got power to spare. I'm only using like five thousand, and I've got like ten thousand to spare, essentially. Um, to be able to, to utilize. So we're gonna grab uh, some concrete. First, 3,900 of it. One, two, three. There we go, 4,000. Uh, we'll hit up, actually motors just right over here. So hit up motors and then we can hit up copper wire on the way this plastic and in case industrial beams are in the same area so uh we just need to take a trip there and then back actually i should have started there but oh well uh so we need what 300 motors one two three done just nice small controlled bursts 6,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. And last we have, case industrial beams and a plastic. And then we can make it. I'm basically making a, uh, a, a similar aspect to, to a Grand Central Station type platform, right? And what I want to do is I want to I want to move out of this area a bit, right? I want to move. I want to expand. Um, I want to make a central storage so we can start exploring the dimensional depot uh, bits. And uh, actually, I had in my my last set of inventory that I that I kind of stashed away before starting this project uh, this morning. Um, I had it uh, had it kind of stashed away. Uh, but the the start to um, the the power buffers, the uh, power enhancers, the alien power enhancers, right? So it's uh, it's it's new. I just wanted to I just wanted to you know, do that while I had it on the recording versus not. Thousand, 14, 16, okay. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. I just wanted to make sure I did have the room in the first place. Our fuel generators are doing magnificent. The turbo fuel, it is absolutely amazing how much is getting accomplished there. Uh, and how much is being resource synced because of it. 
Uh, how much is wasted, essentially? <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously, we'll have leftovers, which is fine for certain things. Like leftover plastic, leftover in case industrial beams, leftover concrete. Left That's it, yeah. Alright. So let's head over there to our giant cluster of uh, nodes, right? And, uh, and then we can. Square it away. Uh, I, I'm i building it out uh, kind of over an open area because uh, it's a massive platform. My, my intent was 10, and uh, I guess I could still do that if I really wanted to. If I really, really desperately wanted to. Um, because. Actually, I might as well. I can go, I can go multi layer, right? I can go up and down. Um, the question is, do I want to do that and create that kind of uh, varying level? Do I want to make uh, like a pyramid station where like, uh, you know, got what, like six, the, the, ooh, ooh, ooh. Or uh, like five at the bottom, then four, three. No, I'm kidding. Um, so four, three, to one. Do I want to do it that way? No. <laughs> that would look ridiculous. That would look hilarious. Uh, that'd be so difficult to, um, to, to maneuver everything. So this is the giant platform that I'm talking about. Uh, and the thing that I have with it is, uh, I don't know how far back I need to be in order to start, you know, utilizing a curve or whatnot or elevation. Cause clearly we have a bit of a run in here. Uh, with this shit. So, with the six that I have, uh, which is probably overkill as it is, um, there might not even be enough platforming still. So I might have to... Alright, let's, um, let's start... here. Because uh, there's nothing that's in the in the way there. Uh, the only thing that's really in the way is uh, just right in front of us here, this this hook, uh, which I think it'd be cool to have like an immediate drop down into 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 whatever. But um, who knows? We'll we'll figure it out, right? So the the first thing I want to do is get uh, one, two, three, four. I might not even calculate that right. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. Okay. One, two, three. I'm doing it with the catwalks uh, for the. Actually, I should do them without them. Hindsight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop with uh, with this one here because I need to figure out if I want to do the 10 or not. I, ha I had the materials to make 10 of these train stations. Uh, just doing a second level wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad thing, but doing a pyramid would just look fucking stupid and ridiculous and just why? <laughs> just, just why? Um, and then of course we're doing our, our big boy freight platforms. Two, three. I just want to know what the, the length of it is for 10 of them. Okay, so pretty, pretty fucking close is where that kind of runs. So that is interesting. Um, so I will have to, I will have to worry about that on, on that final one. So, uh, let's, let's actually run that real quick. Hold on. Yeah. 
So that is, that is running like not even not even counting not even counting this one. Like it's just it's it's running to it running into be a pain in the ass. Um, I think I think the key is I actually just need more elevation uh, above all, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see. I should have I should have made the platform higher essentially. I was like, oh no, this will be this will be high enough, right? Yeah, no. Then I have to put all this into an industrial chest. So I can uh so I can do that. I need to make it like three or four higher realistically. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of space. Um This could be a oh hey, there's a, there's a thing. Uh so let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start this process. So at least get us started, right? So I need it realistically to, be able to reach above that, right? Ideally. So I need that to be like. Good measure. Hold up. Like, semi crop circles? What? Perfect. We have our heading. Now, where we want this to go. See either a Mercer Sphere or a Summer Sleep up top there. It looks like a Mercer. Perfect. So it's nice and close. Oh, it's definitely a Mercer. Nice. Hey, let's look. Oh, yeah, right here. Beautiful.
Beautiful. Also trying to make sure that uh, what I'm doing isn't uh, leaving just like a random chest laying around, you know? and random chests, you know. Come on. Get pretty close. And there's crystal in there, I see it. And this also gets us over a little, uh, a little curvy bit. really like you know doing anything serious here I'm just removing and moving I'm just removing and adding platforms you know in the same area kind of
Well, plus side is when you're up here, you can see the slugs uh, that are that are powering themselves up. The uh, accuracy of the sun. Like, hey man, you turned out the fucking lights. I'm like, good fucking question, bro. Like nobody knows, dude. Sunrise, sunset, bro. Sunrise, sunset. Now that I know where I need to go, right, how far. This is a nice, simple cinch. If you could do more than 50, that'd be great, you know, on the delete. Like, 50 is still a lot, don't get me wrong, but like when you're when you're tearing down an entire platform like this, 50 is kind of jack shit, you know? Absolute ass. Six. Hey, we're almost done. Let's fucking go. Oh. 